and welcome to the Visionless Designs YouTube channel, the channel where you get to see all the things I can't. So today I figured I'd have a go over a little mistake I discovered I'd been making. So I bought a new little hoover for my treatment room, which is in a different section, and discovered it had sealed bags in it. I was thinking, oh, they're handy. They must, you know, do a good job of keeping the dust out of the filter. Oh no, oh no. So apparently I'd been suggested to use the wrong type of bags for my Bosch Hoover here. So I decided to go over them all. I bought the three different types and I'm going to see how each one does and what job they're actually meant for. So I'll figure to go over my final view in this video. Here I've got the three different types of bags for the Hoover. We've got the wet plastic bags the fleece bags and the paper bags. Originally I got recommended to use the plastic bags as they would handle the um, wet dust as well as the dry and t technically we could just tip any um, anything out of it as we use it. So, here. These things technically I think these are for the 55 litre version as well. So there we go. That's the bag. There's the opening. And that just folds into the hoover. The problem with these is they're designed for literal wet sludge. Because uh, when you're using it, there's nothing stopping the dust from just being sucked straight into the filter. So they're great for the wet stuff, not really for the dry. You doing there for now? And then here we've got the fleece filters, which are apparently good for wet dust and dry. Mm -hmm. Here we go. See, whee! This actually just has the hole, and then the rest of the bag is sealed. So obviously the dust is going to go in there and it ain't going to come out. So it's not going to get to the filter. The reason I didn't go with these is they're quite expensive. I think these are about £35 for five of them. It's actually the same price as the wet bags, which is £35 for 10 of them, and um, obviously you can't reuse these. But, as I'll go over in a bit, it's actually um, not really a bad thing. And then here, whee! And here we go, big bag. And then we've got the paper bag here. So I was a bit hesitant to use these ones, um, as it's paper, I don't see them being very durable, but I figured I'd um, get the, the three of them and um, do a comparison just to see if these are actually worthwhile. Uh, these were £20 for five at the time, so they're a lot cheaper, but whether they're going to be better or not um, is a different thing altogether. Big thing with these, uh, which really frustrated me when they actually arrived, is you can't use the active filter cleaning, the AFC on the Hoover, which renders a very um, key component of the Hoover useless. So that's again something to think about with the paper bags because you're basically rendering part of the Hoover useless. So I've got the plastic bag in here as usual. So here we go. If I just take this off now and show you the reason it's actually a bad idea to use this. So obviously it's open topped, which is uh, has been handy for me to tell how full it is. But the thing is, because it's open topped, all this really fine dust goes into the filter, which although it has the filter cleaning in it, it does still clog up after time, especially with the ultra fine dust, like the, uh, the grinder dust. Um, and effectively making it work extra for no real reason. Um, the re main reason I went for these originally was they were suggested, they can handle wet stuff and they can be tipped out. But it's not as worthwhile when the filter's getting clogged up regularly and having to be cleaned out at the end of every day. So yeah, not going to be doing this again. We'll um, pop in the paper bag now and see how that does compared to this. Um, I'm going to do paper bag first as that's the one I'm expecting to fail. Um, so we'll see how that goes now. I've got a paper bag in here at the moment then. I've been using it for a while. 
So, a few things to note. Um, this is the open plastic bag. The suction is definitely reduced on these plastic, these paper bags in here. Um, it's still perfectly fine, but it's something to note. But obviously, the dust isn't getting into the filter, so long term it's a lot um, better anyway. So we'll open it up and see how full it is. Again, it was easy when the plastic bags, with the open plastic bags, because I could easily tell how full the Hoover was. With these paper ones, it might be a bit harder for me. So here we go. So what we're doing here. What the heck is that? It's dusty. Now what's happened to you then? What's that? Oh, and there we go. That's why I didn't want the paper bags, and that's why I'm not going to use them in future. Got a tear right where it joins on there. That's a, a bit annoying. So immediate downside there. I can feel how full that is there. That's uh, yeah. That's uh, nope. Not going to be using these again. Right. Yeah, that's, that's that then. Right, so discovered a little mistake after actually reviewing the paper bag and discovered I may have put it in upside down, which would have uh, contributed to it tearing. So this is a bit of a problem as um, when you check the instructions, obviously I get my support worker to uh, look at it for me, it actually has the bags going in that way, which is the way I put it in. It's supposed to be that way. Apparently the tab at the bottom, but the picture shows it differently. So what I realise is like you've got a hard fold at the top here, which that should be at the top. So all the weight is actually dropping down the bottom. So I'm going to have another quick try of the paper bags and see how it does. Um, but it's again something to make sure you do get the bag in the right way. Otherwise it'll tear. So I'll put this in now and we're gonna see how it does. So it's been a bit, I've had a pretty major Hoover, Hoover uh, workshop hoovering. So we'll see uh, how this is done now. Um, it should be full. Doo -doo. There we go. Right. Yep, yep, didn't think I wanted to go more than that. Um, it's a bit of dust in here again, not as much as last time. So, don't know if that's a hole in it again. I forgot to mention last time there was a little card thing that lifts up to put over the uh, the hook here. So, let's get that off. Use, use nicely on that. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that, that is full. Yep. Um, this was, uh, there's only a little bit in there. So, um, actually interested to see. Get in. There's not a lot in there, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, did uh, did much better this time than uh, last time when I put the bag on the wrong way around. So not really thought the bag. Um, I will say one thing: it's been very annoying having to constantly make sure the active filtration system is turned off. So. Yeah, that's that, that's the paper bags. Let's get a fleece one in here now, clean the box out, put a fleece one in, see how they do. Right, so we've got the fabric bag now, just gonna plop this in. Um it feels bigger than the, the paper bags. See uh that feels pushing this in. I was a little concerned with the other ones because it felt like I was gonna tear the paper ones as I pushed them on. Right now that was a lot easier. Let's put that over there as well. And again, make sure it's the right way around this time. So I'll have a go at this and see how this one copes. Right, uh, should be uh, full-ish now at the very least. Um, I will say one thing, the suction on the fabric bags versus the paper bags, so much better. Uh, and I kept it throughout the whole thing. So depending on how full it is, it's, it's yeah, much better straight off the go. And the fact I don't have to uh, turn off the um, the filtration thing. Yeah, yeah, no, already better. Already happy it. So, let's see, there we go. Right, get this off, see how it's done. Right, 
Yeah, could have done a bit more on there. I don't really feel much dust in there this time. Uh, no. Okay, so show off the bat. Yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah, now I'm much, much happier with these. Uh, there's a little bit of dust there, a tiny bit. And that might have been just me just taking it out then. Um, oh, the tab I accidentally ripped on the paper one before, turns out it's to pull that up and it seals the bag, stop the dust coming out. Don't use it as a carry handle, it'll tear off. But yeah. Um, okay, we'll uh, have another play about now and I'll probably try and make some sludge and see uh, how the plastic bags do with that. So I'm going to get the, the plastic bag put in this time to uh, fan show. So these bags are actually pretty huge because um, they're designed for the uh, 55 litre and the 35 litre Hoover um, extractor. Oop, gonna get told off for calling it a Hoover. Uh, right, so I'm just gonna find the hole. Find the hole, find the hole. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, lots of little holes. I'll find it eventually. There we go. Hey! Go on, ignore the hook this time and then it just folds. Over the edges like that. So I'm gonna go make a mixture of water and sawdust um, to show how these are with actually um, holding liquid. Uh, so I don't really deal with um, sludge much in my workshop. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. So I've got my bucket of high fibre porridge here. So I've got a good mixture of sawdust and water here. So we'll see how this handles it. So get yeah, plastic bags in. Um, and when dealing with liquids, you have to turn the filter off again. So again, I've got to turn it on and then quickly find the button to turn the filter off. Okay, so that's that done then. Um, so it uh, was a bit, probably could have done that being a bit wetter. I'll tell you what, I'll just put a bit of water in here and see how it does with just pure water. Got pure water in the bucket now, we'll see how it does on this. Again, not something I'd personally do, but apparently this is what the extract does are good for, so. Well, the bucket's empty. So let's open the hoover and see how that looks. So I figured we'll check the filter first, see uh, if that looks and how it's looking. It's a little damp, but I think that might just be because there's water in there in general, but it's not, I don't feel like there's anything actually got in there, really. So, right. New back in. Get this off. There we go. Got sludgy mess in there. Got water. So let's see if this bag actually. There, it's holding water, so yeah. Um, yeah, so again, get the right bags for the right job, I guess. So there's my take on those uh, Hoover bags then. So yeah, as I said, make sure you pick the right bags. Um, personally, really don't like the paper bags. They were um, annoying, having to turn the filter off. Um, they seem to tear easy, and the actual suction seemed to be reduced on them. So yeah, they may be cheaper, but I don't think they're worthwhile. The 
fabric bags, yeah, they're definitely worth getting. Um, just kept the suction there. Didn't have to worry about the um, the automatic filter cleaning being on or not. So yeah, I did have a few people say that you can empty them out by squeezing all the dust out. So yeah, you may be able to do that, but then you're poofing dust out into the air, which kind of defeats the purpose of getting a hoover that uh, contains all the dust. So each their own on that one. And of course the, yeah, the plastic bags, only really for um, if you're doing water because otherwise the filters get clogged up really quickly um, and don't last as long. May be able to clean it, but over time it's going to deteriorate. So it depends on how, how often you want to buy a new filter. So yeah, that's my take. Hopefully uh, this has been helpful to some people and hopefully people won't make the same mistake I have. Right, so thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, don't forget to check out the website, visionlessdesigns.com, where you'll find all my products to help support the channel, as well as links to all my social media and Etsy store. Links are also in the description below. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. See you in future videos.